Okay, in the meantime, let's set up our front end framework. For our front end, we're going to be using Bootstrap. Bootstrap is an amazing framework. It was designed and created by very intelligent people who have created a framework which works amazingly well and allows us to be really, really productive and really fast in developing our HTML and, and our front end in general. When, when I created applications before knowing about Bootstrap, I used to create all of the HTML and CSS and JavaScript myself. And this was a very tedious process because, I mean, every browser has its own kind of way of figuring out how to render HTML and it's very hard to get everything working as you want on every single browser. So Bootstrap is a framework which solves this problem in the majority of the cases for us and not only that, it allows us to build our HTML really, really quickly because they have already written certain classes for us which make developing our structure of our HTML really, really quickly. And also, one of the great things about Bootstrap is that it's incredibly well documented. There is so much documentation here which you can read and you can figure out how everything works. So it's really, really good in this case. And also, they have a really big community of developers who already use Bootstrap in their projects. And there's many, many websites on the web which use Bootstrap as their front end framework. So even if you don't figure out how to do stuff, even when you read the documentation, you can always go into forums such as, for example, Stack Overflow, which is the most popular forum for asking questions related to development. And you can ask people there and surely, I'm very, very sure they will be able to answer any question you have. So let's go back to the home. So that's getbootstrap.com and hit download bootstrap. And we're going to download the first version. So this is the compiled and minified CSS, JavaScript and fonts. Okay. So let's go ahead and download this. And I'm going to extract this. And here immediately we see we have three folders, kind of like the ones we just opened up. So I'm going to open up a new folder and navigate to my project. So this is project app engine, yum search to default, now static. And here we see we have essentially the same folders. So all we need to do is to copy the files into our project. So we're going to go to CSS and I'm going to only copy bootstrap min CSS. We don't need the rest of the files. So I'm going to go into my CSS file, put it in here. Then I'm going to copy the JavaScript. So this will be bootstrap min JavaScript. Again, we don't need the rest. Put it inside of my JavaScript folder. And we're going to leave the fonts aside. We're going to be using different fonts and it's going to be the font awesome fonts. For me, they're, they're nicer looking. I prefer to use these. And by the way, fonts are, are, we use fonts so that we don't need to use images as, as icons, okay? We're going to be implementing some icons in certain navigational items, and images always weigh a lot, and, and they certainly don't render as well as, as, as fonts. Now, this is a font which has been designed instead of letters, then they designed icons. And so this is nice because they render really well and, and they're, they're fast to download. And, and in general, they're just a nice way of implementing icons into our, into our websites. So again, let's go to the home and hit download. And once it's downloaded, we're going to extract it. And again, we see the same thing here. All we need to do is go to the CSS and copy font awesome min CSS into our CSS folder. And we need to copy all of the fonts. Okay, so we're going to copy all of the fonts and paste them into our project. Okay, great.